Hi everybody, this is Paul. I hope you enjoy this upcoming video about illustrator Victor Perard. I discovered Victor Perard through Wally Wood. Wally Wood lived from 1927 to 1981, born in Minnesota, died in Los Angeles at the age of 54, um, lived hard and fast. A comic book artist, worked for EC, Marvel Comics, as well as he produced his own book um, called Wit's End. Anyhow, this is a famous um, illustration panel by Wally Wood, the 22 panels that always work. <laughs> you can find this easily online. I just printed out a copy at my local copy shop. But it goes through 22 panels that really say a lot about composition, big head, extreme close-up profile, no background, um, etc. All black, contrast, just and really cool um, concepts to know about reflection in any composition you're doing. You know, side light, top light. It, it can seem deceptive, deceptively simple of how incredible these 22 uh, panels are that always work. I keep this posted up on my wall. Anyhow, check out Wally Wood. So these line drawings in Wit's End number 13 are by Victor Perard, who lived from 1870 to 1957, born in Paris, died in New York City. He was a prominent um, teacher at the time, as well as painter, um, living uh, a lot of his life in Vermont as well. And I was just so intrigued with these beautiful, expressive, simple, life-filled line drawings that I started researching Mr. Perard. And I picked up his book here, Anatomy and Drawing, on eBay. Really cool cover. Art instructor, Trafagan School. Cooper Union, New York City. He was a graduate of École des Beaux-Arts, Paris, National Academy of Design and Arts Students League, New York City. The skeleton figure. You find a lot of this kind of stuff in Loomis, etc. This guy has a really fun, light-hearted, kind of joyous um, energy to his work that I really, really like. And actually, you can see here that these... That panel I saw in Wit's End number 13 is actually this page right here um, reversed in the book in different sections from here. But So this is the actual original source for those really beautiful line drawings. I just was curious where the line drawings came from. And honestly, it's kind of my favorite part of this whole book. This book is interesting from a historical angle, representations of different races and cultures uh, through the years. Um, you're gonna find the same kind of anatomy in Bridgman and Loomis, Vanderpaul, although I would argue all three of those um, are better. But still, if you were just had you know one anatomy book, you'd certainly learn a lot uh, from this guy. But that leads me to the next book that I really feel like if you're getting into drawing or even if you are an illustrator, enjoy drawing as a hobby, I highly recommend you pick up this book, How to Draw Nearly Everything by Victor Perard. Now this was published much later in his life. Um, he published many books, many how-to kind of books. And this was published in 1949. So this was published in the last, within the last eight years of his life. Um, and it's interesting. He, the preface of a lot of these books is really good, and this is no exception. He recommends to um, placing the drawing on your paper in the beginning. To do this, sketch your finger on the paper, an imaginary outline of the picture you were about to draw. At the same time, try to visualize the completed picture. That's pretty interesting. And he goes into a lot of just how to start off. And I always like to read, um, look at the handwritten preface. 
by Victor Perard. Really soulful, and he's really, really good with the nature scenes, setting stuff out. How to use your pencil, you know, in different ways, you know, with those parallel lines and even changing up the value or tone within um, a set of lines, like you can see there. That's pretty cool, you know, it's pretty eye opening to pay that much attention to detail, as well as getting into some kind of Van Goghy trees there. You know, I mean, I just love his graphite work of these landscape um, sections of paper to not make your drawings too big, get a lot of practice. Perspective, you're going to find this in a lot of books about perspective and stuff. Two point, three point perspective. I mean, I could, I just, I just look at the, his nature drawings for a long time. He lived in Dorset, Vermont, as mentioned. Look at his log cabins and snow scenes. I mean, it's right out of New England. His trees are just phenomenal. It's just great um, practice and study to go through this, the nature in this book. You can get so much in black and white. You know, look at his beautiful roses. Really, really great stuff. Look at that scene. I have another book by Jack Ham. Um, which is really great for nature drawing and as a, as a supplement to this book, um, as far as the different nuances and water and waves and stuff, sunlight, waters, waves, clouds. Um, but that Jack Ham book is just really comprehensive. This book just kind of goes into everything a little bit. I really like Victor Perard's animals. He just has that real joy, um, lighthearted kind of feeling. Very similar to how he does the gesture line drawings that I first discovered in his work. The same thing he sets out drawing the animal as the first line is always the most important for capturing the energy of the animal. Drawing the line of the back of an animal first defines the expression and action. And I mean, just look at that, how it, it's so true, that um, dominant line, you know, capturing the energy of the animal or the human. That's kind of neat. I actually copied that for a fun exercise because it's so simple yet so effective. So I, I I really get a lot out of his animal book. In big contrast to Ken Holtgren's book, I'll put a link up to that uh, video review I did as well. Ken Holtgren was a real master of drawing animals um, with a real spirit and maybe more technical command than Victor Perard. But, you know, the, um, the joyfulness of Victor Perard's work is just undeniable and, and quite a bit, um, well, some similarities to Ken Holtgren, but I find that both are really great to have in my library. Look at those cats. And of course, horses. Everybody's got to have horses. Really like his preliminary blocking studies of the horses. Really helpful to see that. And getting into people, again, as I was mentioning in the anatomy book, not my favorite um, artist as far as the people go, but I love his gesture drawings. There's some more examples of that in this book. Really, really fun. Reminds me of a uh, French, kind of like Victorian French drawing here with the loopy lines, very loose, full of energy. And this guy does a lot with children. A huge, huge section in here on kids and teenagers and small features and feet. I think he prefers drawing children over adults. That's the feeling I get because there's there's more attention in the book to children um, than adults, actually. Um, one thing I'm not crazy about is his teeth are way too defined. I mean, teeth just are not that defined. He's got the lip movement right, as all of the masters would, you know, Von der Paul, Bridgman, etc. But he, he loses it on the teeth. I mean, those are just some creepy teeth. And uh, But, you know, every artist, every well-known artist and book illustrator is going to bring something different to the table.
I really enjoy making these videos for you artists out there. I know there's quite a few of you. And have a great day.